Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galtuba. I'm back with another collective reading for whoever needs it. So we will see that what spirit has the messages today for my collective and what type of messages spirit wants to deliver. And this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box, so you can reach out to me if you want to. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe the channel. I will really appreciate it. So let's see what's happening. Or do not get scammed. Please be careful from the fake accounts and scammers. I will never contact you. I will never ask you for anything. They are fake accounts and scammers. Just block and report these people. Let's see what the spirit has today for my collective. What is the message? So take what resonates. We have the camera reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. There could be someone who's watching you. Could be watching your pictures. This person is definitely reminiscing about the past. This person could be a photographer. We have the cut down, yes. So you definitely cut this person out from your life. And they're watching you from afar. There could be a separation. Um, stop the pattern. You could be stopping the pattern. You could be also giving silent treatment to this person. You're not reacting anymore. Caffeine, yes, caffeine. So rest in peace, yes. Transformation, new beginnings. You could be ready for new beginnings. And this person is definitely seeing you walking away. And this is definitely someone who's reminiscing now. They're really seeing you moving on and cutting them and leaving them behind. There could be, you could be in a transition period. You're definitely transforming. There could be some tragic endings between you and this person. It was not easy. You just cut this person out from your life. It was not easy. So this could be someone that you, you have a soul contract with and you cut the cord with this person. The runner, yes. So this is someone that who have a fear of intimacy, okay? And this person run away from you. This could be you for some of you. You are running away from this person. You don't want to face any, you don't want to face this relationship anymore with this person. There's definitely very intense connection you have with this person. This could be someone that you're letting go because you really feel very troubled and turmoil with this person. Oh my God, I just saw the snake. Bottom of the deck. So yeah, this is someone who was chip, yeah. So we have cutting ties, what I told you. You cut the ties, cutting the ties with this person. You're just cutting the cards. You just cut this person out. This is like someone you're moving on from. This person receiving what you need, progression and arriving. So this is like, there is a progress, there is a change. So when you are, you know, cutting the cards and you're just focusing on yourself, then this person will come towards you. Or maybe they're, you're just not focusing on this person's energy anymore. You're just like, I just need to fix myself. I just need to heal myself. I just need to move on. I'm not responsible for anyone, okay? And look at this bottom of the deck, twin flame. So even though this person is my twin flame, I'm not responsible for any twin flame soulmates. So that's what the relationship is all about, yin and yang and balance, union and, and duality, complement, polar opposite. So you're definitely opposites from each other. This is also like mirror, yeah, that's what it is. You're mirroring each other. So you're focusing on yourself and healing. This person is also doing the same. We also have the birds here. So there could be some type of a communication or messages coming. There's also something to do with the coffee. We have a separation, yes. So I think this was very painful ending between you and this person. This was this like forceful, uh, endings between you and this person is a tragic ending like you want to hold on to this person But the more you want to hold on this is going to be more painful for you and you know it We also have a girl with a snake. I'm not even surprised because I saw the snake So this is someone that narcissist and empath connection that you are with in you really Putting the boundaries with this person. You're not giving them any access anymore to play with your feelings or to hurt you anymore So yeah, I think so that's the story now. Let's see from the tarot what's happening What's next now? What's next? That's what your energy is, okay? Now let's see what's next. Six of Pentacles, yes, this is definitely something that you're finally understanding that relationship works or any relationship, friendship, or even your family, siblings, friends, colleague, finally you're understanding it should be equal give and take. It should be balanced. And I'm not going to give any more energy to anyone who is sucking my energy. Six of Pentacles, yes, so that's what you're doing. Six of Swords, yes, you're moving on. You could be seeing six, six number a lot. That's what it is. You're definitely making the peace. You're making, you're finally understanding. For some of you, you could be working on your finances. You could be shifting. Some, there's some type of a shift happening in your finances. You could be improving your finances. 
You could be working on your healing, recovering, meditating. You could be reaching out to people. Some of you, I'm feeling you could be donating your money. You could be donating some, some people who are, who are needy, okay? So donation, you are definitely doing donations just to heal yourself, heal your soul, heal your body. I don't know, whatever you do. But yes, that's what it is. We have the judgment. I'm not going to show you because the card is naked. We have the emperor. Yes, I'm not even surprised. Divine masculine, the daddy. You're definitely dealing with Aries. Could be Virgo, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius. We have the queen of wands. This person is definitely seeing you as this bad bitch with this queen of wands. Yes. You could have a black cat. Does not have to be. Yes, you're, you're claiming your own power. You're claiming your power, and this person knows that you're definitely not giving any responses to this person. You're not coming back. You're claiming your power. Queen of Wands is very powerful, very independent, very confident. That's what you're doing. Either you're already in this energy or you're doing it. You're like, I just need to do that. I just need to move on. Hmm. This person is very stubborn with an emperor. You can see that this person could be older than you. Some of you, this is your boss. This could be someone that you're working under with the Six of Pentacles. So this person is a boss. If this is not a boss, this is someone who is a boss of their life. Like they want the things in their own way. So this is very controlling energy like Aries. They could be very perfectionist like a Virgo. You know, or could be Capricorn, workaholic. I'm also seeing Taurus energy. This is someone who's very possessive, obsessive, and controlling type of a person, okay? Like they want their things in their own way. And you're like, no, honey. I... It should be equal give and take because we both are in this relationship. We need to fix this together. So there's judgment here. This person is feeling the urge to, let's see, what is this judgment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you're not going to believe what I saw. Okay, so King of Wands, bottom of the deck. Yes, the couple, divine couple. More confirmation, soulmates, twin flames. Um, we also have the Hierophant, mm, spiritual connection, it's definitely divinely guided. Um, you both are playing the role of a teacher to each other, you're teaching a lot of things. Um, we also have the Empress, here you go, and Two of Cups. Mm. I don't want to repeat the same thing because I just did the previous reading that was also talking about the same thing. But I don't want to repeat this, this soulmate twin flame things. But we have the emperor and empress, two of cups. This is a divine couple, king and queen of wands, divine couple, hierophant. It's definitely union from soulmates. It's like this is divinely guided. This is from a higher sources. It's something that you have contact with. It's like it's just something that it's definitely a spiritual connection. We also have judgment, so I, I clear that. What is this? Is the fool? So this is definitely talk about reconnection, rekindle, reconciliation, coming together. This person is feeling the urge to take the risk with the fool card. Take the risk towards you. I'm feeling the urge. This person is feeling the urge. They're feeling something in their body, like they need to take action. They need to do something before you are gone forever. That's what this person is doing. For some of you, you maybe have a choice between twin flame and soulmate because this is twin. This is soulmate. So maybe you have a choice because we have a two of cups and yeah, so some of you, you maybe have a choice between your soulmate and twin flame, but I don't think so. Some of you, this is the same person. You're a power couple. You're a divine couple. This person definitely sees you as their equal. Before they were not ready and they were not seeing this, but now with the reminiscing, it's like this person is definitely seeing you as their equal. We have a two of cups. This is definitely coming into union. Look at this. This is the after tarot deck if you're interested. So they're, they're hugging each other, right? They're hugging each other. So you're coming into union. And there's something with the cats here, black and white cats. We also have the swans. So yeah, the true love. This person could be Leo. I'm feeling status difference between you and this person. Or it could be a power struggle, but who cares? This person definitely is seeing you as their equal. This person knows that you are the one. Only you can make this person happy. Only you can make this person feel whole. Only you can make this person feel whole. That's what I'm hearing again and again. You are the Empress and Queen of Wands. Doesn't matter, you're masculine or feminine, but you're really opposite from each other, yin and yang. And that's what you balance each other. This person maybe does not want to run away from any more from this connection because they're finally admitting, accepting, and surrendering to this connection. We have the judgment. This person definitely judge you. Or maybe you judge this person. We have the full card. This is two both cards. It's definitely, again, talking about, you have a lot of major kind of one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So 
Could be Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, fixed sign, Libra. So this person is feeling the urge to take the risk and just be with you. That's what I'm hearing again and again. This person could live far away from you, but who cares? This person definitely want to take the risk. This person want to fix this situation with a six of swords, want to heal this, want to fix this. This person really in love with you. Head over heels. Whatever you want, I'm here, baby. I'm here. That's what I'm hearing. Here you go. Three of cups and justice. Yeah, for some of you, it's definitely reconnection and reconciliation. Libra, justice. Finally, the fair enough. The union is happening between two souls. Yeah, you have a soul contract with this person. If you're single watching this video and you don't have a history with this person or situation that you know someone, someone like this, you're not running away from anyone or you're not you know, cutting someone out, you don't have this history, then definitely you're about to meet someone that is going to change your life. You're definitely meeting your divine counterpart. But I feel that it's a reconnection. It's a reconciliation here between two people that who are madly in love with each other. It's mutual love, okay? It's not one-sided, it's mutual. Maybe in the past it was one-sided or this person was not ready or there was other uh, responsibilities this person has. But now this person is feeling urged to take risk and take the leap of faith and, and accept this love. Because this person is seeing you as the one. This person is seeing that only you can make them happy. This person wanna love you. And already in love with you, I'm hearing. Three of Cups, it's becoming union between you and this person. You are coming into union. For some of you, it could be a celebration time. This person is ready to even get married with you. I saw 11, 11. Yeah, Four of Swords and uh, Four of Pentacles and Page of Swords, bottom of the deck. Talk about maybe this person is watching you, spying you. I told you, spying you, uh, hesitant to approach you. Look at this holding back because this is the fears or their ego. This person is stopping, stopping to talk to you. But they, they, this person is feeling the urge to do something to stop you before it's too late. You maybe have a two people here. So maybe that's why this person think that there's a third body who is my competition. So this person could be watching it. I think um, justice is coming. This person wants your forgiveness. This person is bringing something serious on the table. Could be commitment or marriage. And others of you, this person is definitely watching you from afar, like they really want to talk, they're hesitant, and this is their ego and their fear is stopping, or it could be pride or ego is stopping them to approach you, to contact you, because of some issues maybe, because there's a blockage here. Some of you I'm not going to lie, because what I'm feeling, this person could be already in a third body, but they feel you are the one, only you make them feel whole and trusting, so that's why this person is hesitant. Because they know that everything is going to change. Once they're going to take this action, everything is changed. Everything. But I think this person is ready with the Ten of Pentacles to create a family with you, to be with you. This person is planning ahead. So, so just get ready, I think. If this person definitely going to communicate with you. We have a twin flame. Oh, my God. Mirroring self and soul connection. So this could be your twin flame. In the more major confirmation here, double confirmation with the twin flames. Music could be important. You could be seeing the songs, listening to the songs, and this, or maybe this person is like, you could be seeing a lot of signs, symbols, so you can see that's reminding you of this person. This person could be a musician, or through music, this person is connecting with you, or talking to you. We have down the crossroad. This person is still, look, look, this person is still on the crossroad. Like, should I take action? Should I talk? Should I? make a choice. This person maybe have uh, options or choices. We have perspe perspective and we have already with the camera starting from the perception. This person's perspective has changed. You change this person's perception about love. Eyes. You really open this person's eyes about true love. This person maybe was rigid, very traditional, very old school or very, how to say it, it's like very you know, like rigid in the things, like not open-minded to accepting love. So now this is like, this person is finally keeping their mind open and change, they're ready for change. You really change this person's perspective about love. Here you go, leave, yeah. Walking away, goodbye, don't look back. So some of you, you already walked away from this person and this is really hurting this person. 
your you left this person change this person perception i'm also feeling about love we have an earth sign so this person could be taurus virgo capricorn for some of you this person could be leaving someone for you i'm feeling they could be leaving something or someone for you because that's toxic there's something that they need to cut the ties to they really need to cut down those people too they need to say goodbye and walk away from those people too it's really important to be with you or maybe this is like they need to leave and walk away from their old perception old living style and habits we have the autumn something going to happen in september november and october for some of you we also have illusions and intuitions came up reverse here so a lot of you you could be not trusting your own intuition you could be still stuck you could be still thinking it's too good to be true or this person is thinking that it's too good to be true how it's going to possible this person is still i told you uh, processing through their ego they could have a fear a lot of fear there could be a lot of secrets here that this person is keeping it secrets from you so trust your own intuition okay about this person there's something with happening with a full moon or new moon okay or there's something about this person could be you're seeing this person in your dreams channeling the messages in the dreams i think that's a message for you yeah we have a true love divine couple divine union this could be one so this is someone that you had a conflict with or there will be a lot of people that is going to be against of this connection maybe that's why this person is afraid of but who cares this person is longing for you look at this this person is longing and this person is ready for commitment the truth is coming out in the summer for some of you it's summer or some of you it's autumn you're definitely manifesting true love if you're single you're definitely manifesting true love but i think you will receive the text from this person this person is missing you already and they're ready to speak up their truth and they're ready for commitment this person does not care about anyone anymore but this person is being anxious and sad look at this this person is being anxious and sad about this situation because you left you walked away you cutting the ties this person is afraid that you're going to leave and walk away and choose someone else this person is really triggered right now but just let them come towards you relax everything is going to fall in the place everything is going to make sense this person is definitely missing you and they're ready to speak up their truth and they're ready for commitment you're definitely manifesting or this person is manifesting you back no matter what but this person is not just coming to talk this person is definitely going to prove it this time and you're going to see it because it's a twin flame union baby our soulmates so this is your divine counterpart you're the power couple you're just meant to be together that's the reading going to see you later bye